Welcome to another episode of Light On. And if it's your first time here, welcome. My guest today is Dr. Falak Sheikh. Dr. Falak Sheikh is a consulting homeopath and a holistic energy healer. She integrates homeopathy and other healing modalities like Reiki, crystals, sixth sense healing for the purpose of holistic healing. She's a channeler of light language and sacred geometry. And that is exactly how I met Dr. Falak Sheikh. We were together in a workshop doing some kind of an activation and I chanced to hear her channeling, her light language. And it created quite an impact on me. And I knew then that I had to get her for you. So let's welcome Falak. Hi Falak, welcome Hi. to the show. Hi. So Falak, could you tell me a little bit about yourself? Uh, I'm Dr. Falak Sheikh. I am a homeopath and uh, my journey uh, to healing started as a homeopath because homeopathy also acts on the energy of the person and it is a holistic way of healing like you know which acts on mind body. So um, later on I found myself uh, drawn to other healing modalities that also have an impact on our energy bodies and so it got to me to theta healing and then I started practicing and integrating uh, theta healing with my practice and later on down the road I learned various healing modalities like Reiki and uh, EFT and excess consciousness and so many other shamanism and all these here healing modalities I do integrate to heal the person and be the best versions of their self. And uh, recently, I can say a few months back, it has been a few months that I have started channeling light language, light codes and sacred geometry. Yeah, and that's exactly what I'm interested in, Falak. Could you yes. tell our viewers what is light language? So light language is uh, basically a language of the multidimensional galactic beings. It is kind of an encoding that is transmitted through a person. It directly penetrates to the light body of the person, activating their DNAs and bringing in changes, whatever is required for them in that moment. So basically, if you say that, uh, can I understand a light language? It's like, you know, it doesn't make any sense to the one listening, but it, it is because it is a kind of a coded language, like we can say, a coded language of the light that uh, transmits through a person. So is it uh, different from uh, light codes? Because we've been hearing a lot about light codes and there are a lot of people drawing out light codes. Yes. So how different is a light language from a light code? So uh, the difference is only that, that it is uh, the source is light and when you are speaking it it becomes a light language and when you put it down on a paper or inscribe it it becomes a code so even i receive a light language always encoded with light codes so i draw those light codes and uh, it is like you know uh, you put down on paper and this is how you can use it for various purposes for healing oneself for activations and uh, when you meditate with that light codes it uh, kind of your body or light body absorb those energies of the codes so i also want to tell you that it is like you know light language can also be transmitted not just by speaking it is i have also seen people who tra who channel light language just by hand gestures or even by a dance like you know they would be channeling by using various uh, actions and in the form of a dance or like moving their hands in a certain way and they might not speak anything so that is also one way of channeling light language so it can be done through uh, speaking, it can be done through writing, it can be done through uh, dancing, it can be done through uh, movements of your hand and your body. So this is how different people receive it. Also, the very specific thing about light language is that, that the, the light language that one person might receive is completely different from what other might receive. Like, you know, it is the way of receiving or the, uh, 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 how one speaks is differently, is very, very different. 
so it is very individualistic also it is different because there are various galactic systems which have this languages right and so there is a specific language for a syrian galactic star seed like you know then there is a there is another language for another galactic or another star seed so it is it depends also depends upon the what star seed you are channeling if you say that does it match with the other one who is also channeling a light language it won't it would never match i am i haven't seen someone speaking in a same way so falak are you saying that suppose um, you're from the syrian syrian star system star star, you're a syrian star seed and yes. i am from let's say orion star seed yes. so one will we have different languages is that what you're saying if you yes you yes. channel the light language yes so and suppose there is yeah. another one who's also from syrian yeah the syrian star seed will they be uh, channeling the same language as you do it would sound similar but it won't be the same i can say okay. it would sound kind of a similar way and not necessarily if i belong to a syrian star seed i channel a syrian uh, light language it might be possible that i might connect to whatever is uh, my light language or light codes what i see is very much uh, ancient egyptian this information or everything is freely available so it is just that what you tap into in that moment will come through you yes so how does one uh, tap into a light language how do how do you channel a light language when i started uh, first receiving sacred geometry and as i started receiving sacred geometry i started like seeing it in the air i can say that like you know i saw i found that okay i'm seeing something which has a definite shape and structure and so st- i started putting it down and as i started putting it down more and more i found that those were light codes that i was putting it down along with the sacred geometry and later on i started hearing certain sounds i can say so this is how i started receiving it and if i if you say that uh, how one can channel this light language i would say that it is just the intention that matters and also along with the intention there is there has to be a space in yourself that has to be created in order to receive it like you know it is like kind of a radio frequency like you know where you tune into that frequency and you can hear that fm suppose 94.3 or whatever so you have to tune into that frequency in order to receive that frequency of whatever it is going on the the transmission is already happening but it is that you know you need to tune in so how we can channel is by tuning into that frequency and how one can tune is um by raising one's own energy vibrations like you know once if there is a certain frequency of this light language and if you rise your vibration to match up to that frequency and then you can like you know start receiving that light language so for me i felt that there was a lot of stuff that i had been carrying all the emotional baggage or all the things that had been limiting in myself and when i released that when i healed that there was a lot of free energy my vibrations raised and this was the process and this happened during this lockdown period during this covid situation where a lot of stuff was pushed through people right it was like you know a lot of uh, shadow self was coming up for a lot of people and if it was it had a purpose because you know it wanted us to raise our energy vibration so that we all can receive this information which is freely already available to people so this is how like you know uh, you can channel if you also work on yourself and release all those stuck energies you will raise your vibrations through meditations also like you know you will be able to raise your vibrations and tune into this frequency and you can open up to receiving it i love the way that you put it where you said that we have to create a space for the yes. light to channel through us so yes. what you're saying is that anyone can tune into it and anyone can channel a light language or do you have to have some special skills um yes like you know regarding this channeling thing and being intuitive i have i had someone who had told me that only few people are intuitive it is the chosen ones who can only do it but this is the message that i want to give out each one of us have an ability to be intuitive and it is not that only chosen ones can do this 
we all are born intuitive we all are uh, have these abilities to receive information to channel things to receive guidances by our angels guides light beings or interdimensional beings and this all information right now is coming down to earth at a super 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 speed so it is like you know it is like you just have to tune in and keep an intention to receive it and if you keep an intention to receive it and if you say that okay i want to receive guidances i want to enhance my intuition the universe or the guides will show you how you can do that it will bring up stuff that you need to clear in order to um uh, clear up those channels of receiving so i can and uh, this is a message that i wanted to give that I, my guides told me to give to everyone is that please utilize this information because it is there already for you you just need to tune in and it is being given to us so that we can receive it utilize it and spread it further more to people right so i would say that if yes this information like you know anybody can be a channel of light language each one has a potential to be that it is just that you need to open up keep an intention of receiving it it's just that but i think i suppose the first uh, prerequisite for that is to believe that there is something bigger than all of us there is something bigger than the just this planet earth here right exactly exactly because this is this is something that is like you know coming up since last few months i can say and many many people have started receiving light codes and like you know sacred geometry light language and they get activated like you know it's like a catalyst like you know the, many of them just hear a light language and they do get started um they do get activated and uh, start receiving a light language it is necessary to understand that earth is not the only planet in the galaxy there are several other galaxies and galactic systems and galactic federation that is out there and there are several other beings and they are showing that how they are there to support uh, us and also the energies of the earth for a new upgradation that earth is moving into i had read a quote that oh we humans feel so much of ego of being this and being that you are just a tiny spot in the universe even the earth is just a tiny spot in the universe so now tell me how big your ego is right so it's like you know you open yourself to the multi dimensional Uh, world, I can say. Yeah, actually, this reminds me of the movie uh, Horton Hears a Who. It's about an elephant who has a small dandelion, and the dandelion has got a sm- entire planet of the Who's. That is the oh. so now he's carrying and he's trying to save it. And that actually, when I saw that movie for the first time, and when I read that book, it had really struck. You know that we really we have. we think that we are so important when we are merely a speck yes and we have yes. to realize that of course as a speck also you are important yes in this yes. Uh, in this entire design yes. we are very important but yes. you are not the only one yes right. yes thank you for reminding us again of that now there have been a lot of people who said that they see beings and they hear light i only want to ask you a question now is it scary sometimes when you when you start first start hearing it this is what you brought up is a very important point that people feel scared of the of seeing something of seeing angels or seeing like you know they feel scared okay what is this because this is very different from like you know if you see these things in a 3d reality it sounds but um, of of course there is a way of how you channel how you shield yourself with light so that like you know you feel safe and protected how you invoke angels to protect you and see that the information you are receiving is from the light source so that that is also one thing that you need to learn when you are channeling but uh, yes fear of like you know if you create if you have fear we really one really needs to work on it because this would block your intuitive abilities it will block you from receiving information from seeing um from seeing stuff like you know we are born with as i said we are born with intuitive abilities children can see stuff 
like you know they have some invisible friend who plays with them the, so they might be seeing spirits or they might be seeing angels you see infant smiling in the air like you know as if they are seeing something so they have this thing seeing but they tell to their parents that okay i see, i have an invisible friend they get scared like because this is something what they can't see right and so they by even programming the child okay this nothing this is not this is something that doesn't exist you don't have to see it they shut the, off their intuitive abilities even of their kids so i i think that if you if if since childhood if you can encourage child to like you know communicate and see and whatever they are seeing is fine and okay as normal as i see as an, a, another human being if we consider our uh reality that way then definitely with time these intuitive abilities can like you know build up and the it won't be as scary as one feels this is the new normal when you where you see various galactic beings and even us has uh affirmed that okay there is a ufo and because they used to completely negate its presence before mm-hmm. but now they have started affirming that okay they saw what what they, they saw was a ufo so yes uh, if one has fears towards this it needs to be released and uh, it need to be worked upon in order to receive more like you know of the information that is available you raised a very uh, valid point when you said that we have to make this the new normal yes because uh, the and which actually is one of the objectives of this um, this talk show that i started yes, yes. to get get into the forefront a whole lot of these new technologies which are there yes you think is um, is esoteric and too out of the out of the world and maybe too hard to believe you said it so beautifully make this the new normal the new normal yes. is a new word that we've been we've started using through yes. the covid times yeah yeah so uh, falak now the light language that you speak does it have a meaning i mean um, do you understand what you're saying or you have to connect it connect with our heart and then understand how do you how do you interpret it so uh, when it uh, starts flowing through me i don't uh, uh, at that moment of time i it, it is not like a word to word transmission but yes after a uh, transmission i know that what it is if i receive a transmission the purpose of it or the message along with it is also is channeled through me so i get an understanding okay this is for this purpose so like you know if i receive a light language for suppose uh, healing ones um, and and at that moment of time the transmission that i receive would be a transmission that would heal that uh, mother wound and also the message that is required to integrate in order to heal that mother wound would also be along so if there is a message like okay uh, you need to mother and nurture yourself in order to heal the mother wound so it would be like the message along with the transmission that is that would heal that that aspect of oneself and also this transmission would bring out onto surface so if i have a um, transmission that i want to have abundance in my life a transmission for abundance so it would also bring to my conscious awareness the things that is holding me back from receiving abundance or from having abundance in my life so after the transmission i have seen that many people get a headache either they have some body aches it makes them really uncomfortable and the only thing this happens is because it brings something up in order to integrate that healing it or it brings that thing that needs to be worked upon or that needs to be released in order to integrate that healing that the transmission is for so yes it might bring up stuff but only in a way to help you heal and that that whatever uncomfortable feeling or the headache is it doesn't last for long it is just there to bring to your conscious awareness of the stuff that you had been holding back or you are not able to see that stuff so it is just that so can you tune in and ask for whatever transmission that you want for instance let's say i want to work on my father wound healing the father wound yes. if i want to work on relieving overthinking or anxiety yes. Yes. then i can channel in that language for for that purpose also yes. with intention 
Yes. So when I started receiving it, I started receiving it whatever was given to me. Like you know, it it every day like you know it was like three a.m. and I'm up and it would be like something some information coming in for that moment. Whether it would be sometimes for myself or it would be sometimes to spread out to people. So it was initially very uh, spontaneous and very unintentional for me, and I was open to receiving whatever was available. Later on, when I talked about this to my friends and one of my friends who, uh, told me can you channel it for me and i said why not i can have an intention and i can see what comes up and uh, when i kept an intention and i started receiving information and transmission and messages whatever was required to be given to that uh, person in that moment so i started uh, keeping an intention that okay i need to do this for this person and i started receiving that way then i said okay wow this works so well so why not i do it for myself for a specific purpose at time where I, uh, my sugar levels were fluctuating and so i started uh, put an intention that okay i need to uh, heal this uh, sugar fluctuation in myself and uh, so just give me a light language transmission to heal my pancreas and at that moment of time what i received was that what i need to work on is my liver and not my pancreas because there is some bitterness or some resentment that is stored that is to be released and so i received the light language that was required to release the resentment oh, okay. so this is like you know it is like um how it how magnificently it works like you know you of course i followed whatever was required for my physical body like you know uh, nutrition wise and uh, food wise i did manage that and the light language and my sugar levels were back to normal just in 15 days so this is how magnificently this works and yes now i have started channeling it on intention like you know for various people for for my clients who have come to me for various healing uh, purpose so i would receive that for specific purposes and at times i also receive like you know uh, um in that moment whatever is required according to the group's energy or the message that i need to send out in the world so i would just freely post it out so that people can listen and integrate it so it can be yes definitely done intentional and it can be used for very uh, very specific purposes too so when you use the light language for some kind of healing let's say to heal your pancreas or to heal your liver uh do you also get a protocol for instance you need to use it for 15 days one month or you need to use it three times a day i'm just going by whatever i know from the 3d yeah <laughs> you're a doctor okay the medicine so three times a yeah. day <laughs> <laughs> okay how do you use it so usually when i get a transmission i just uh, put it or speak it down record it and uh, the sacred geometry and codes that i get i put it down on the paper and i uh, sleep it or sleep over it with my under my pillow or i would uh, put it down somewhere in the wall where i can see it and i can like you know receive its energy or uh, also i have started painting nowadays i have a lot of urge to paint so i have started painting and putting down the codes uh, along with it and like you know you can meditate with it and to integrate in energy and receive its information the transmission it's once you hear it it is like you know your light bodies have received it it is only when you feel like you know it will it will you yourself can decide how much you need to take it so like you know if you connect with your intuitive self you will know that okay i feel an urge to listen to it again or i want to listen to it again while sleeping so it is like you know uh, completely upon you how you want to use it if you feel that okay three times a day i need to listen it go for it it is like that so when i receive it for someone i would give them the instructions also how to use it that okay you will hear this light codes uh, once a day or i would say then and if they say that oh i feel i i did it every night because i wanted to and it is completely fine that way also like you know because they felt a desire or they felt intuitively to connect it every night and hear the light codes so that is also fine one of my clients she said that the light codes that i gave her like you know that i drew um, dr did draw for her was uh, she uh, she painted it like you know she put colors in it and she kept it on the wall she felt an urge to color it so this is how you are integrating the energies of the codes okay interesting yes so 
uh, is there any specific way that you have to be to actually channel them? I mean, is, do you, would you have to sit in meditation? You said you received it at 3 a.m. I think that that's yeah. the magic time that most of the codes keep <laughs> coming in. <Yeah. laughs> why, why do you think 3 a.m. or 3, 3.30, that is the time that is... It is said and, and also around full moon, like, you know, I feel a lot of energies around full moon. And uh, when I first started receiving it, the it is like, you know, first time uh, I channeled uh, very clearly a light being was Archangel Metatron and it was on full moon. And that's why full moon energies really kind of um, stirs me up, I can say, in every way, like emotionally and physically and even the intuitive intuition heightens and everything so yes of course uh, i think 3 a.m is the time where the uh, it is said that the veil between the dimensions it gets thinner and thinner so it's like you know it, it is that time i have a lot of goosebumps right now <laughs> all over my body so it is that time during um, during which like the veil gets thinner and like you know you can easily access the other dimension and also of course during the full moon you know the energies of the moon creates a lot of um, change at the level of the earth also like you know the tides and the ebbs and the tides that happen even in the oceans so it has a strong magnetic um, field even the moon energies that that causes a lot of change and we being 70 percent water like you know as a humans we also have that ebbs and tides in our bodies that uh, generates uh, this kind of things during and around full moon so falak i wanted to ask you do are these like uh, i know that some some people while they just speak it some people also sing it like yes. like you mentioned right in the beginning yes. now when you when you receive the light language as a sound as some any kind of sound whether yes. it's spoken or singing is there, for instance, is there a difference in the lyrics that you was? I'm using the word lyrics very loosely, but yeah, that's there, okay. are there lyrics that you would receive which are different for different situations? Yes, it's completely different. Like if you can ask me, if you ask me that, if I even remember those sounds and those pronunciations, I can say I do not because it just flows through me that information and uh, it is very different from even what I channel like like the previous thing that I would have channeled and the next thing that I would channel would be completely different. Like, you know, it's and even like from person to person, as I said, that it is uh, very different. So the lyrics is definitely the encoding, I can say, is very different from uh, one another. And each encoding has its own beautiful meaning that it uh, brings in. Yes, yeah, some, some codes might bring in a kind of a similar thing uh, but um, the encoding is very different i channeled a message for healing uh, body shame like you know and uh, the transmission for healing body shame and what it came uh, to me was kind of um, the sacred geometry had a uh, merkaba in it like you know and uh, just after some days later on when i started I felt a desire to paint it. Like, you know, after I painted it, I finished it, I put in codes and everything. And then I was just going through my notes and I realized that, okay, the thing that I channeled that they also had a Markaba in it. So maybe there was very specific thing of Markaba that had, that was, that is a sacred geometry, right? That had something to do with healing body shame. But the codes that I received might be completely different. Like, you know, the light language, that I received before and later if I channel for the same thing it might be different but it would definitely bring in a same message during the transmission the message or the translation of it can be the same but the encoding of the sound and the light can be different yes okay interesting one of the most vivid memories that I have of your channeling is what you channeled for I think to look to let go Yes. how to let go of things that is one of the channelings that i'd heard and i re and i remember that there was huge activity which was happening around my third eye mm -hmm. is that uh, normal does that happen with all the channelings do they work on various chakra points 
in our body yes. also basically it all this uh, energy transmission or light language transmission act on the energy body of the person so it uh, brings in changes like you know it is and it is a very uh, i can say it goes very deeper into your light bodies it it also activates the dnas the junk dnas what we call it and which are not activated and these are responsible for various um what we can say super human abilities i can say so these are the dna that gets activated when you receive this transmissions and when you are receiving it since it is going penetrating through your light bodies you can feel a lot of sensations like you know in your physical body also like it can be in any part of the body either head or third eye or crown itself at times when you receive and even when i myself i'm channeling i feel a lot of vibrations over my crown and third eye and uh, it literally at times gives me goosebumps because that information is directly from the source right and so uh, yes it brings in a lot of uh, different sensation for different people depending on where your energies are struck stuck in which part of your body like you know as you said that third eye and letting go so maybe you were you had to let go certain things in order to open up your you know that all this stuck energies are stored in our cells in different parts of the body so maybe if there is a stuck energy around your shoulder and you feel a lot of vibration during uh, the transmission around your shoulder it is showing that there is a stuff that is being released or that is being healed in that moment while you are hearing the transmission so why did you pick up the shoulder specifically since i have a frozen shoulder since <laughs> since quite some time that is very uh, interesting <laughs> yeah. yes so uh, falak i i mean all this information is so magical and beautiful we can continue for hours i think talking about yes. it yes i want to know if there's any um, if you can channel specifically for the audience who will be who will be tuning in to this channel i connected uh, within myself and one thing that uh, really came up for me today and uh, this is what i think is required to be sent out to audiences for everyone who is listening this uh, is um, about uh, feeling our emotions is about feeling our emotions and connecting to ourselves and our feelings so the message that i want to give out that uh, i feel is uh, required in this moment is right now we have been guided at a mass level i can say at a earth consciousness to rise into our divine feminine essence when i say divine feminine essence is like each human being is uh, is has their own masculine and uh, feminine essences and um, it is necessary for each one of us like you know not be not not only for females but even for men to get in touch with their feminine essences and for females like you know to rise into their feminine essences what we say as the divine feminine essence and uh, so for that purpose it is also very essential to feel our feelings so feeling our feeling is an aspect of the feminine essence right and so the transmission that i am going to do today is to activate our heart centers so that we can allow our feelings to flow and not stay stuck into our cells or into our bodies and we can help our um, self to feel it it in a in a holistic way or i can say in its um in its absolute form like you know whatever feelings it is, what it is like you know we term it as good or bad but whatever feeling is it whether we anger resentment sadness joy happiness it can be jealousy envy it is all the spectrum of emotions which is equally important for us to feel and we term it is as good or bad or positive and negative emotions but each emotions is important to be felt and allowed and allowed to flow through us the activation of our health heart centers would help this emotions to be felt and to be allowed to be uh, to flow through us and also the heart centers are the centers for experiencing love and compassion 
and love and compassion not for uh, oneself and for our near, near and dear ones but also the um, love and compassion that binds us all all humanity i would say all of the universe so the transmission that i would be doing is to activate our heart centers awesome now is there any specific way that we have to sit or is there something specific that you have to just do? be in a comfortable position and i would uh, say you can keep your eyes open or closed i say close so that like you know when you close your eyes you are shutting your off you uh, yourself off from the environment around you and you are connecting it to yourself within so just close your eyes take a uh, comfortable position and you can just hear it and receive it okay so just close your eyes and let's get on to it हे तू माश तुम्ही के आतो हे मी तू कुस्तीनी आतो हे मी मुश्किनीनी आतो हे आतो कुस्तीनी आतो हे मी तू कुरीनी आतो हे मी छुशुरी आतो हे पिकिरीनी आतो इष्टे मी केरीनी मी उन्हों हो पिकिरीनी मी तू स्तीनी केरीनी आतो हातोरीनी ओ तो मी केरीनी ओ तो याश पिकिरीनी ने उम्मी मी केरीस्तीनी आतो हे मी तू रीनी आतो इष्टे मी केरीनी आतो हे तू कुरीनी आतो इष्टे मी केरीना आतो हे याश केरीना आता हे तिकेस्ती मी केरी तू होत करीरे तो तू स्ते मी केरीना हो तू
Kimit kula ito his temi klesto, to klos kletero 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 his
voice changes or speed at times it comes very fast at times even i start singing at times also it is like you know in a rhythm or at times it is very slowly it comes to me and it so it it, it is completely a channel thing and i have no control over it so i just allow it to flow through me it just flows flows through me kind of thank you very much falak thank you for sharing your time and sharing your lovely channeling thank you so much sheila for giving me this opportunity so that i can spread this information and this can reach out to as many people as possible and may this uh, through this video it can touch lives of so many other people uh, who are looking who are who would be seeing this video and may it spread through and through to as many people as possible thank you so that was the amazing dr falak sheik and the beautiful light language that she channel for us i will also be putting a clipping of the light language in the comment section so that you may download it and use it as often as you feel guided also in the text box are the details of dr falak sheik so that you may connect with her if you need to and before you go give this video a thumbs up share it with whoever needs to see it and subscribe if you haven't done so yet i will see you in the next episode until then keep shining bright Thank you.